In this video, we are going to solve problems related to force and potential energy. This is Physics is Easy with Mr. Jesse. The relationship of conservative force and potential energy can be expressed in the following equation. First, the change in the potential energy is equal to the negative of the integral of the conservative force Fx with respect to dx from initial position to the final position. On the other hand, this also tells us that the conservative force is equal to the negative of the derivative of our potential energy as a function of position with respect to position. So once again, if we go from force to change in potential energy, we would do integration. And if we are going in, if we are given the change in potential energy function and we're interested to get the force as a function of a position then we are going to do differentiation um, do not forget the negative sign because this is actually a very common source of problem so remember that fx is actually a conservative force and examples of conservative force would be gravitational force spring force magnetic force, and electrical force. Here's the first problem. A particle moving on the x-axis has a potential energy given by the equation below. u is equal to 8x squared minus 4x plus 400. The force on the object at x is equal to 1 meter is... In this problem, we are given the potential energy function and we are interested in the force uh, when the object is at one meter. So we will use the equation force is equal to the negative of the derivative of our position function with res uh, rather potential energy function with respect to position. So substituting substituting our equation so we will have negative d our u is going to be 8x squared minus 4x plus 4 or, uh, with respect to x when x is equal to 1. So we could easily use our calculators to uh, solve for this problem. So we will have f is equal to negative 12 newtons. So once again, as you use your calculator, this function d dx do not forget to put the negative sign because again oftentimes this is a very common source of mistake the sign right here it's very essential a certain one-dimensional conservative force is given as a function of x by the expression f is equal to negative kx cubed where f is in newtons and x is in meters if this force is acting on an object with an initial potential energy of u naught, what is its final potential energy? So recall that delta u is equal to the negative of the integral of our force with respect to position from the initial position up to the final position. Also remember that our delta u is in fact equal to u final minus u initial and we are given that our u initial is equal to u naught therefore u final is just equal to delta u plus u naught and our delta u once again is just the integral or the negative of the integral of f dx plus u o so substituting um f from our equation or our given we will have the negative of the integral of negative k x cube plus u naught and uh, applying the rules of integration we will have u final is equal to a negative of negative k x to the fourth power divided by four plus u naught so we will have our u final is equal to positive kx to the fourth power over 4 plus u naught and this is the final potential energy of the object 
And that concludes this video. Always remember, physics is easy with Mr. Jesse.